my ever-growing quest to beat Seven Star Mewtwo with the silliest Pokemon possible continues. But today, we're going to do something a little different. That's right, instead of looking at Pokemon with super low base stats to beat Mewtwo, we're going to take a look at a Pokemon who actually has some decent stats, but because of its typing, has absolutely no business being in a 7 star Mewtwo raid. So today, let's take a trip back to the past and look at how you can use Hisuian Samurott of all Pokemon to take down Mewtwo the Unrivaled. With that, let's get to it. All right, so uh, for anybody that wants to know about Hisuian Samurott, okay, Hisuian Samurott is, honestly, it's not great, okay? It is water and dark type, which means that number one, uh, it doesn't get hit by a uh, Psy Strike, but man, does it get hit hard by everything else. Um, it does not have a great defense stat, which means that literally turn one, you guys will see this in the raid, it gets absolutely owned. Okay, so bug tier on this one is key. Uh, held item is still the metronome because, you know, that's what we use with everything. And it's level 100 because it's it's got to be level 100. If it's not level 100, it's not going to work. Okay. So, uh, EVs for this one are spread out as, like, uh, as so. Max HP, max physical attack with uh, an adamant nature. Our ability is sharpness. Sharpness is very very important for this one and i cannot stress that enough uh sharpness powers up both x scissor and night slash on this one which is just super important for this okay so make sure you have sharpness as your ability uh your move set for this one is x scissor sword stance night slash and terra blast uh really the only two moves that we're going to be using here are sword stance and x scissor okay sword stance uh is your move that you're going to use to get yourself to plus six physical attack. X scissor is what you're going to use to uh, attack Mewtwo, uh, which it is boosted by sharpness, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so you're getting the boost from that. When you're Terrid, you're also getting the stab boost, and then you're also getting the metronome boost on top of it. Okay. So X scissor, phenomenal move to use for this. Night slash is there just in case we need some, you know, Extra damage uh, also has a heightened chance of landing crits. And Terror Blast is there in case we run out of X Scissor PP, which I guarantee you, you will not. So, uh, Strat is, like I said, Sword Stance three times to get yourself to plus six. Use X Scissor until you can Terra. And then once you Terra, uh, you're going to start running X Scissor until you just wreck Mewtwo. But don't take my word for it. Let's see it in a raid. All right, so Hisuian Samurott. Uh, this one is not a very silly mon. Uh, but it is silly in the sense that uh, Hisuian Samurott is dark type, uh, which means that he gets destroyed by Aura Sphere. Um, or no, it's Psy Strike he gets destroyed by. Um, either way, Hisuian Samurott gets absolutely destroyed uh, at the beginning of this raid. So this one is much more difficult. Uh, we actually start this one up with uh, um heal cheer or with a uh like defense cheer and a struggle bug to make sure that mewtwo uh doesn't get as much light sphere this takes us down to 63 which is fine uh turn two i have to make sure that i use one of my heal ups along with the life dew coming in and the struggle bugs and the spirit breaks to make sure that we you know don't get ko'd here Uh, we get hit, but now that Mewtwo has lost a whole bunch of everything, uh, we're actually at a point now that we're in a pretty good spot. So I see Spirit Break's going on, and since Spirit Break is going on, Life Dew's going to be doing its thing. Since Life Dew's doing its thing, I can actually come in and start running Sword Stance on this. So, now that I can come in and start actually running Sword Stance here, uh, and not have to worry about getting insta-KO'd because of Spirit Break and Struggle Bug... Uh, we can actually start running Sword Stance and getting ready to attack here. Uh, Hisuian Samurott's big thing is it has to survive. Like it barely does there. Until uh, we can Terra. Because when we can Terra, then we know we're in a good spot. Uh, but right now, we can't Terra. We've got a heal up cheer, which is exactly what I needed to see here. I believe at this point. Special attack is low enough that Aura Sphere shouldn't KO. It doesn't. Spirit Break's doing the thing. Life Dew should heal me back up. And now I'm ready to start attacking on this one. This one, uh, 
is more of an absolute chaos type build than it is just worrying about like doing it with something funny. So Aura Sphere comes in, it's doing nothing at this point. Uh, life dues are coming in, keeping us healed up. Once we get to the point that uh, we Terra, then we don't have to worry about damage as much. Uh, but getting to the point that we <laughs> that we don't have to worry about damage as much is easier said than done with this build. This is like the twelfth time we've tried this, or not that we've tried it. The twelfth time that we've done it to get a solid uh, run out of it. I think we've got it perfected at this point. So, uh, Mewtwo does call mind. It doesn't really matter for us. Uh, the nice thing about Hisui and Samurott is the fact that uh, we not only get Stab from X Scissor because of Bug Terra, we also get the Metronome effect and we also get the Sharpness effect from its ability, meaning that X Scissor is going to do even more damage than what it's already doing. So, we wait for the Terra to go off. Uh, we get X Scissor. Mewtwo does Calm Mind, Spirit Break's coming in regardless though, and helping to lower uh, Special Attack back down. Uh, Mewtwo's gonna try and get itself back up, but it's not gonna happen. So, we start doing huge amounts of damage. Spirit Break comes in. Struggle Bug now is doing the thing. Now that we're Terra, uh, Mewtwo's gonna remove effects from itself because enough time has passed. We really don't care because Spirit Break and Struggle Bug are going to do the thing. Psy Strike's going to come in. Uh, it's going to do quite a bit of damage on this one, but we still get Life Dew off. Spirit Break. You know, uh, Spirit Break does the thing. Life Dew heals us back up. I think of two Life Dews this time. On this one. Yeah, I do, which is fine. Um, X Scissor is going to come in. He's going to do Psy Strike. It shouldn't do a whole lot because Spirit Break and Struggle Bug are doing the thing. It does quite a bit to us, which is fine. <laughs> we do all the damage here. We're just continuing to do more and more damage. Stats are nullified on our side. This is the point where somebody needs to really hear us, heal us up. Uh, life Dews coming in. I've got double Life Dews because this team knows exactly what's going on here. Uh, and since they know what's going on, Spirit Break's reducing down attack to the point now where Psy Strike shouldn't do a whole lot. Life Dew should keep me healed up. Just like so. Uh, Struggle Bug is going to start reducing attacks, so is Spirit Break. Just way, the way that we want it to. Uh, Life Dew is going to be key here until we go. Or until we can, you know, actually start attacking here. Struggle Bug is going to be just as important as well. This is also a great time to point out, and I've said this one a million times before, this is not a build to do with, like, random people online. If you can see, like, this is a very specific setup. This is a very specific team. And I have very specific communication and callouts with these guys. Um, these are more just funny videos for you guys to see. Be like, hey, look, you know, we, uh, we thought that Mew is the only Pokemon that's going to be able to beat this. However, uh, it turns out there are actually a lot more Pokemon that can do this. Uh, if we can do this with Hisui and Samurott, who is naturally dark type and does not have great special defense, trust me, we, we can do this with just about anybody. It's it's pretty easy at this point. So, we do uh, X Scissor now. We're caught back up with the timer. HP's coming back up. At this point, someone should be ready to put Misty Terrain up at this point. Uh, I have one person who is low on life dues, uh, so hopefully they are going to swap out uh, with the other person. The other person's gonna start doing struggle bug, yeah. Uh, and the, or the other person's gonna start doing life dew, and the other person will do struggle bug. So this comes in, uh, X scissor goes out. This shouldn't put it through. Shouldn't put it through shield. It doesn't, which is good. Misty terrain goes out. It's beautiful. Uh, X Scissor comes in. This is going to put us through shield. Misty Terrain is key here because this keeps Mewtwo from healing after, or from using rest after shield is up or after the shield goes down. X Scissor comes in, drops us down past shield at this point. 
At this point, Mewtwo re uh, removes um, status effects from itself. He tries to rest. It's not going to happen. Struggle Bug goes out, does the thing. Spirit Break does the thing. Mewtwo's already back down at minus two, which is fine. Life Dew is going to be really important here to keep us healed. Um, yeah, X Scissor just does all the work. Mewtwo's going to remove stat changes from my side, uh, which is fine. I just need to make sure at this point that I stay alive, which uh, with special attack being as low as it is, I should easily survive everything else that's coming at me. Yeah, pretty handily survives that. Sword stance, we're good to go. Life do for however many uh, however many are left uh, that they have. We're definitely going to need the life dues back up. Uh, light screen, super important for this one. Psy Strike comes in and hits. It does a little bit of damage. Hopefully, there's a life do coming at some point. Beautiful. It's exactly what I love to see. Spirit Break continues to put in all the work here to lower special attack. Life do continues to do its thing. I come in Sword Stance again. <laughs> we get hit. It does nothing at this point because this team chat is very very good at doing this. They've helped me with every single other one of these. Drift, Soren, Matthew, um, Drift, SJH, Wither, whatever they go by on whatever uh, whatever platform it is, these guys have been key to making sure that this gets done, uh, and they have mastered the builds that they are using. So at this point, uh, we just continue to use X Scissor. We're at still like over a third time left. Uh, we don't have to worry about, you know, uh, we don't have to worry about uh, Samurai getting KO'd at this point. At this point, we're just using the buff from Sharpness, uh, our plus six, and the fact that we're using Metronome to just do as much damage as possible. So, and we have somebody at this point who's out of life dues. At that point, all they can do is just run Struggle Bug. That's all that's gonna, that we're low enough time now that it's not gonna matter. So, Struggle Bug, Mewtwo tries to do Calm Mind to get itself back, its special attack back up. It's not going to happen. So, we come in, we do uh, X Scissor again. And like I've said a million times, don't try and do this with randoms. Like, please don't try and do this with randoms. If you're going to do this, make sure you've beaten Mewtwo first. Go out, help some friends with it, uh, get some friends together. You know, that you can actually play local and communicate with each other. Because this one's going to be, uh... This one's going to be rough for you guys. We're at 176 HP. We come in with our final X Scissor. Mewtwo. Game Freak thought they made you hard. We did you with this Sui and Samurai. This is like the fifth weird Pokemon we've done this for. So. Perfect example of don't try this online. Do this with your friends uh, that you can do this locally with. Or people on Discord. Okay. But that's it. That's how you use Samurott to take... Hisuian Samurott, nonetheless, to take down Mewtwo the Unrivaled. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use Hisuian Samurott of all Pokemon to take down Mewtwo the Unrivaled. And let me tell you, this one may have looked easy, but this one actually took us three or four times longer than any of the other builds that I've done so far. Even Lurantis. So, let me know down in the comments below. What Pokemon do you guys want to see me use to take down seven star Mewtwo. I've got a little bit of time left before the teal mask comes out, so I've got time to do a couple more builds and one massive surprise for you guys coming up. So let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.